Hi everyone, I have a message that I just received um, over the last few days. This is something that the Lord has been showing to me in different ways. He is revealing and removing stumbling blocks that are affecting his people. This pertains to three specific things, hypocrisy, sin, and bad influence. Instead of just starting with this automatic blame towards the enemy, the Lord was showing me that it is a multitude of things and, and it also does include um, outside influences from evil spirits and principalities. But I'm going to start with the first one, hypocrisy. In Matthew chapter 7 verses 3 to 5, Jesus says, Why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye, but do not consider the plank in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me remove the speck from your eye, and look, a plank is in your own eye? Hypocrite! First remove the plank from your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. And with this, the Lord was showing me that sometimes hypocrisy is blocking us from doing the will of the Lord, from actually carrying out the good deeds that the Lord guides us to do. If, if there's any area in your life, I, I hope that this message just causes us to reflect um, where we might be able to apply the, the practices and the lessons from the Lord first to ourselves before preaching them out to others. Uh, apply and become the example of how Christ is speaking to us to be so that you are not a hypocrite and that way you can actually have fruitfulness in the things that you do. And I also pray this over myself. We want to make sure we're not a hypocrite, especially when we have good intentions or we really want to walk in the ways of the Lord and we want others to do the same. So that's one thing that's a stumbling block if we're not careful. The next thing that the Lord was showing me is sin in general. Obviously we know that sin separates us from the Lord, but sometimes we don't know that we're sinning. Sometimes things are involuntary and that the Lord guides us and tells us to go in certain directions and we're not actually obeying. There's different causes for sin. Sometimes it's because you are led astray, your lack of knowledge, because of the ways that your foundation or circumstance encourages you to be. But then there's another part where it's like we actively seek uh, our own agenda, even though God has his own plan and will for you. And so that's something that the Lord wants to show us is that we don't want sin to be a stumbling block, definitely. We want to be blameless, especially people who are trying to get uh, more revelation and clarity from the Lord. It makes no sense if, if we're operating in sin and then at the same time we're also claiming to be Christians or trying to follow the Lord knowing that we are sinning. And that's something that I've also experienced in the past, so I'm just sharing that transparently, that it, it's something that, especially in the beginning of our walks with Christ, it happens a lot where we still have one foot in the door and one foot out the door and we're trying to really get out of worldly ways. Um, so that's something that uh, we don't want to be placed into and there are consequences to the things that we do. So we want to make sure that we are keeping ourselves clean and blameless in front of the Lord. And I mentioned that this also can come from different influences. So when it comes to that, the Lord showed me Matthew chapter 18 verses 6 through 7 where it says, Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck and he were drowned in the depth of the sea. Woe to the world because of offenses. For offenses must come, but woe to that man by whom the offense comes. So that's a little bit scary because even in uh, the Old Testament, God has been very adamant about who is leading people astray. Uh, if there are false shepherds, um, if there are false priests, even Jesus uh, confronting the Pharisees, the Lord has no issue with, with confronting them with truth. In the Old Testament with King Jehoiakim, I believe that's how you say his name, he had received a message from the prophet Jeremiah who had sent a scribe to him and what he ended up doing is cutting and burning the scroll with that information and the Lord just pop back up with yet another one with the prophecy against him because he would be punished for being evil and doing evil in the sight of the Lord. And then we also see this ultimately in the Garden of Eden when Eve had taken of the fruit that the enemy was speaking about. It says in Genesis chapter 3 verse 6, when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree desirable to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate. 
she also gave to her husband with her and he ate and so we got to remember who is Eve in this whole situation she was supposed to be Adam's help meet and so when you are assigned that role to be a help meet um, everything that you're doing within that relationship it's assumed that you are doing what's within your position and so if you are given a position to minister if you're given a position to be someone's spouse if you're given a position to be someone's support professionally or not or even as a friend if you are entrusted with a specific role we need to um, understand that everything that you do is going to be taken with that standard of that role that title that you have according to the Lord what you do within that position matters and so here is Eve and her form of helping Adam was to give him that fruit being deceived herself first and then giving that fruit to him as well and then we know that it traces even back because the Lord has a very narrow vision on where the root of sin is in Genesis 3 11 God said who told you that you were naked and that first question was a little bit scary for me to see because when Adam was saying I was afraid we were naked we, we were hiding from you Lord the first thing that God asked is who told you that you were naked so it wasn't a matter of how do you know but it was who told you where did that come from because it was not there before that knowledge that awareness where did you get that from and so the Lord is saying throughout this whole message that he is exposing where things have come from the root of your sin the root of possible hypocrisy the roots of bad influence these things are being exposed uprooted and shown to us so that we may do something accordingly so that we may actually take this to the Lord and say Lord cut this out of my life Lord clean this out of my system Lord I've discovered and seen that there's areas where this is just not good for me or that I have not been operating according to the biblical uh, standard according to the word and so after we see these things after after we see the roots of things that are not holy the Lord is showing that he will make a way I saw a stone being removed from a path and as this happens the Lord is saying that there will be great relief and deliverance thank you Jesus so that we may continue being fruitful um, in many areas of our lives so it's a good moment to really just step back and and focus on how we can continue being blameless, spotless in the eyes of the Lord Jesus, not specifically so that people can see us a certain way, so that we can look like we are church folks or look like we are um, humble. Uh, the Lord is shedding off this lack of authenticity to really make it clear that not only should you be like that on the outside, but you should be this way on the inside. Uh, Jesus spoke to the Pharisees and he was telling them that it's better to wash the inside of a dish first and then the outside. So that's what he's doing. It's a great refreshment and a cleaning that the Lord is encouraging us to look at right now, especially as we consider his coming and we consider the fact that we don't want to be left behind. We don't want the Lord saying, I never knew you. We want the Lord to know us and we want to have had this relationship and faith for a reason. Uh, so if, if for those who want to make it to the end, I encourage you guys to just scan through all the areas of your heart and, and let's continue giving ourselves to the Lord Jesus to make sure that we are not hypocrites, that we are sinless and that we are not influenced by things that are trying to shepherd us into the wrong areas. I thank the Lord Jesus for this message and I thank the Lord Jesus for everyone who fellowships with the word here on Tell My People. God bless you all and have a great day.